Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center and today we're talking about the Brother BQ950. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take care of your machine. Now when you're sewing a lot, lint does build up, especially in this bobbin area, so we want to make sure and clean that out on a regular basis. If you are sewing every day, I would clean this out once a week. If you sew, say maybe a couple times a week, once a month should be about right. So. To start out with, make sure your presser foot is up and snip your thread here, pull it out down here. We're gonna unthread the machine, get the bobbin out of there, out of the way, put that down in the accessory tray like that. And take the... Now, at this point, we also wanna take the foot off. Just push that little button in back, take the foot off of there. And then we wanna do the lockout key right here. And lower the presser foot, we've got that lockout key, and now I can lower and bring it back up. But this means that if we push any of our other buttons, or even on the foot control, that needle is not going to go up and down. That's important because the next thing we're going to do is take the needle out. So use the um, screwdriver that comes with your machine, and loosen that needle clamp screw. Pull the needle straight down and off to the side. I also like to put this in the accessory tray just for safekeeping. Now, the reason I'm taking that needle out is because that way we can take things apart on the, the needle plate without the needle getting scratched. Also, notice having the foot off means it's easier to take the needle out. So when you do change your needle, it's a good idea to take that foot off. It's really easy to put it on, take it off. Um, so that's easy to do. Now, to start out with, I like to pull this off, and then we can pull this little plastic piece forward. Now, this is a really nice feature to have in case you get a tangle there. You can just pull this off, take out your bobbin case, and clean out the tangle. But for cleaning purposes, we need to also take off the metal part of the needle plate. Now, you also have a screwdriver like this, nice kind of offset screwdriver, and I'm gonna take out these little screws here. Once the screws get up high enough, you can usually do it by hand. All right, so we got that off of there. Take the foot off. If you need to, you can lift up the presser foot a little bit higher in order to lift that off. And I'm gonna put these little screws in the accessory tray for safekeeping. So at this point, we need to brush this out. A brush comes with your accessories, um, but I like this brush here. This is a brush and a needle insert. You can see I'm getting a little bit of fluff off of there. You want to brush in between the feed dogs. That's especially important if you've sewn anything like flannel or fleece or some of your quilt battings will leave extra lint in these areas. Now, at the beginning of the video, I talked about cleaning your machine once a week if you do a lot of sewing or once a month if you just do a little bit of sewing, but exception to that would be if you sew, say, a nightgown or flannel pajamas or something flannel and fuzzy, clean the lint out right after the end of that project because you'll be surprised at how much is in there. If lint builds up too much here, the feed dogs can't do their job, so we want it to do its good job. So, at this point, Make sure you clean out your bobbin case really good, all sides, so there's no lint. There was a little bit of lint in there. And then we're gonna put this back in. There's two white marks, one right here and one right there. Also, this knob needs to be to the left of that little stopper. So scoop it in underneath the feed dogs and just drop it right onto that rim right there. It should sit nice and evenly without rocking. And then make sure that knob is right next to that stopper, just like that. That's ready to go. Now we get to put this guy back on here. So it's got an interesting little brush there. I think that's to help the uh, thread flow smoothly. I just was noticing that. We got our screws. Screws are easy to find because I put them in some place where they wouldn't fall on the floor. How about that? You ever had a tool or a small thing fall on the floor? You know exactly what I'm talking about. If that does happen to you, um, we do have screws here that you can obtain fairly inexpensively. And also, brings up another point. This machine does not need oiling. 
So no oiling is, this is another screwdriver you can use, no oiling is to be done by the person that owns the machine. That should only be done by a technician. But for the most part, you don't need to worry about it. It's pretty much a sealed system. However, it's a good idea to bring your machine in for maintenance about once a year, just like you bring your car in for regular scheduled maintenance. That's to make sure everything's working well, running smoothly, uh, the way it should be. So we have a great technician's department here that can help you out with that. Then we snap this little guy, make sure that all the little, uh, little guides are matched up, snap that right back on, and that part is done. Now, the needle, we're gonna need to put that needle back in. Let's see if we get that, hold that little guy, there we go. I like this brush because it's got this needle inserter right there. So when you put your needle in, put your needle in so that the flat side is towards the back. Now, yes, of course, I don't have to use this. I could use my fingers, but this acts like a little handle for the needle, so it makes it a lot easier. Make sure that's right back there. Then with the foot off still, poke the pointy end of the needle right down where it sews and bring it straight up right behind that number six there. Then I tighten it up with my fingers, get my screwdriver. You can see there's three different screwdrivers I've been using and tighten it up a little bit more with the screwdriver. Never just finger tight because if you only tighten it with your fingers, it could vibrate loose and drop out. I've actually seen that happen. Next, we wanna put the presser foot back on. The way to do that is match up the stitch hole in the presser foot with the stitch hole in the needle plate like that. Lower your presser lever and there you go, it's back together. So maintenance on this machine is fairly quick and easy, something that you should do regularly. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have, give, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines here on our Montevilla YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.